set this up. <clears throat> I'm excited here. We're here at Lace Boston. You already know where it is. And this is a new series called Food for Thought, where we provide proteins for the dream chasers. Try to provide extra calorie and cut off the fat, the saturated BS out there. But go ahead and introduce yourself to the people, man. What up, what up? This is Jamil Rodriguez from Lace Boston. And I'm here, ready to answer these questions. So I'm going to ask them a quick series of one or two different questions so we can provide one or two different tips out there for the goal setters, the dream chasers, so we can make your dream into reality. So let's go with the last one real quick. Yeah. What is the most overrated advice you believe is misguiding new entrepreneurs or dream chasers? Uh, what I hear a lot of people do, or biggest mistake I think people do is wait for the right time. Oh, let's wait. Oh, I'm going to wait till I finish school. I'm going to wait to have a little more money in the bank. I'm going to wait for whatever the reason is. There's no reason to wait. Dive in at first. Go for it. There's going to you're never gonna get there immediately. So you have to, the sooner you start, the sooner you're gonna get there. There's a lot of folks in the road. You're gonna find out things work better than others. But if you don't start, if you keep delaying when you're gonna start, you're just setting yourself that further back. <laughs> so did you hear that? Forget the delay, procrastination kills, ladies and gentlemen. You heard it from the man himself. Get right to it, get right to it. <laughs> Dive in head first and merge yourself in, in your business. Just go for it. Right? Just don't wait for the right time. Don't wait really for anything. I mean, you can't get to the full extent of what your goal. You have to start. Over. I like that. I like that. Thank you. All of them. Yeah, let's go. We got some more. <laughs> let's go with the last question, right? What do you wish you knew before you started your business? Um, I wish I gave more respect to the resale game. Um, oh. We really came in on, on some anti-resale. Like I was like, nah, I don't want to resell. I want to get a Nike account. You want to sell the product, you know, at the regular price. I, I, I don't think it's fair to keep out the pay extra. I really consider myself, I don't know, almost like a, a Robin Hood, so to speak. Right? We have, we got, we got projects within five projects within a quarter mile of the store, and the products were, were really expensive when I. You know, they were selling high-end shit, and I, I didn't really respect it. I thought it was, I thought we brought it back down, brought the price points down, had the Nike account, you know, we built it and kind of built organically from there. And I think I put too much value in what that Nike account really was. All it really ended up being was a ex really expensive deal every 45 days. But then, whether you sold this stuff or not, and, um, you know, if I had realized what the resale value or the resale part of the game, we could have been, you know, selling sneakers for far more than the retail price. Um, but that's neither here nor there. We're here, you know what I'm saying? I learned that. Um, now we are strictly consignment shops. So, do, you know, the sneakers are more expensive than the retail price, but rightfully so. They're no longer available. They are yeah. to get. They're rare, you know. With, so, I wish I had respected that a little more. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So for any entrepreneurs, dream chasers out there, he said himself, he learned how to adjust from his original plan. He didn't stick to it and he learned from his mistakes. Correct. Much appreciated. Oh, that, Thank, Thank you very much. Bro. Thank you. <laughs> I know this man going to kill his speech. So. <laughs>